Hello everyone, this is my first YouTube video and today I would like to tell you about my recent small project which is a compressorless minimum quantity lubrication system for desktop CNC machines. A lot of people who own such machines are using this kind of hand atomizer when cutting aluminum or other metals to occasionally spray it to cool down the tool and the stock material and uh, to provide some lubrication. This is a little bit annoying and I was looking for a more automated solution. There are minimum quantity lubrication systems and you can also cool down the end mill with just a compressed air, but in both cases it requires a relatively large and loud air compressor. People are looking for a different solution and here I would like to present a prototype of such. This is based on a so-called vibration pump. These are quite interesting pumps. This one is of brand Ulka. They often go into the coffee machines. You can buy them online, but pay attention to the output connector the pump has. Some of them have brand proprietary type of connectors and it's not easy to fit anything in there. Uh, then we have a water container which is just a polypropylene squeeze bottle and a needle of one millimeter blunt needle and some piping. The piping comes from a blood injection system. You can easily buy a set for like a couple of euros. I added some valves with lower lock connectors so that I could play around and reconfigure the system if needed. They are very tight and uh, easy to engage and disengage. Next, we have an Arduino board, which uh, provides the logic for the system with two potentiometers. The left one is adjusting the delay time, the right one is adjusting the on time for the pump some LEDs that are showing the status of the machine and the relay board that is uh, providing the AC current uh, to the pump. And there is also a little bit of logic behind the, the signal levels of the right potentiometer. I will show it in a bit. Okay, first of all, if we would like to start the operation, we need to fill in the water circuit. These pumps do not like working when they are dry. So when I move the right potentiometer to the utmost right position, it is going to go into a priming mode. This is going to be highlighted in the LED. And the pump now turns on for one second and off for one second. Um, and I will keep it like that until all the air bubbles from the system are off. Now you can see we already have a nice jet of water coming from the needle and I think there's no more bubbles. Let's turn it back off. Okay. In normal operation, you would like a small quantity of, uh, of the coolant uh, delivered to the system. So when I just turn the right potentiometer slightly, it would go into a minimum quantity mode. Uh, you can see it's highlighted, the green uh, LED is on. And the system is turning on the AC current for the pump just for 20 milliseconds. That means just one full sinusoid of AC current. And that provides one tenth of a milliliter of liquid with each shot. So you can see it's not a lot. Just making my fingers slightly, slightly wet. Not a lot of uh, uh, not a lot of liquid, and that's what we want. Well, we can of course increase the delay time as well. Now it's set to maximum five seconds. Let's go there, and in this mode we are getting one tenth of a milliliter of the coolant every five seconds. We can also increase the amount of liquid that we the lever, so if I turn the right potentiometer more to the right, it goes into a proportional mode, highlighted by an LED, and 
now I can adjust it to maximum of half a second of on time. By the way, these pumps do not like working at a 100% duty cycle, rather 50-50 is a, uh, is a good uh, proportion. Well, this is how it looks, this is how it operates. Now I can also turn off the power to the system. It just remains idle until it, it is turned back uh, on again. When integrating with the machine, then this can be turned off from the G-code. And it remembers the recent values and just delivers to what was recently set. So now every other five seconds, we are getting uh, about half a milliliter of coolant. Well, please let me know in the comments how do you like the system. This is different from a typical minimum quantity lubrication system. It doesn't deliver a lot of air to blow of the chips out of the way, uh, but it provides, provides a nice jet that you can precisely direct exactly at the cutting tool and deliver a small quantity of lubricant from time to time which seems to be a good alternative to a manual spraying like many people still do. Okay, um, that's it for today. Stay tuned and uh, the next uh, video will be when the system will be integrated on my small CNC machine. Stay tuned. Thank mm -hmm. you.